Hey guys, how's it going? John Whitford here. And in this video, I want to answer a question from a subscriber, which was a fantastic question. And it goes like this. Can you run a membership site with Thrivecart? All right. It's a great question. The short answer is yes, but the long answer is there's a lot to consider. I want to walk you through all that in this video. What we're going to cover is we're going to cover what a membership site is, like the components of it. There's going to be like three critical elements of a membership site for you to consider with what you want to launch specifically. Second, we're going to cover how to actually implement one with Thrivecart. And third, I'm going to yes, cover the downsides of implementing it with Thrivecart, but I'm also going to give you the workarounds to allow you to do essentially anything you want to do. All right, that's all coming up inside this video. If you're excited for it, you can get access to all this content for free by subscribing. Click the little button, click the subscribe button. Go ahead, I'll wait, it's fine, it's fine, just kidding. If you don't want to, fine, whatever, let's do it. Let's roll the video. All right, so first thing for us to cover here is what exactly is a membership site? I always talk with people about this and it seems like everyone has a different understanding. So let me go ahead and set my definition for you and we'll cover kind of the three nuanced ways of implementing this. All right, basically the way it's gonna work is there's gonna be two kinds of people in the world. There's gonna be members and there's gonna be non-members, right? So I used to play pool with my grandfather and you know, good old guy that grew up in the depression era and every time that he almost made the shot, he would yell at the pocket saying, let him in, he's a member, let him in, he's a member. And so I always think whenever I think about membership sites, I think about my good old grandpa smiling down on me on this YouTube video today. So what is a member versus a non-member in this context? Well, it's gonna be pretty simple. There's gonna be stuff on your site that's members only content. There's gonna be other stuff on your site that's non-members only content, all right? So what can that include? Like, let's just go ahead and set the record straight. Um, courses, online courses, are technically membership sites, okay? Because there's you have to pay to get in. But what I think people are more expecting when they hear the term membership site is going to be things like communities, like forums, right? Like drip content. Drip content meaning on month one, you get access to this. On month two, you get access to that. And there's going to be ongoing value given out. In the same way, with your courses, you can give you know full access or you could give drip access where you could actually say, hey, you know, week one, you get access to module one. Week two, you get access to module two. And even selling courses, you have a ton of flexibility with how you implement the courses. If I can find the right scene, there you are, goodness gracious. Then you could actually have a course that's a membership site that gets dripped out. All right. So with all of this, now we have like the baseline here. We know what a membership site is, what a non-membership site is. Um, I have an assumption that the person who asked this question is really leaning more towards the community side because I do understand that community aspect is kind of that unique sauce, that special sauce. A lot of people say that people will join your program or your membership for you and the education, but they'll stay for the community, okay? So I'll go ahead and tell you right now, the community aspect is a little bit weak on Thrivecart. But if you stay till the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how to work around this. We have already implemented this for some clients and it works phenomenally. I'll show you how it works in this video. All right, so the next step is for you to consider what is your membership. No two memberships need to be the same. Yours could be literally just offering online courses and giving them a payment plan to get access to it, all right? It could be access to communities, could be access to one-on-one -on -one group coaching and all of that. Let me just go ahead and add coaching in here as well. And I'll give you a few ideas for how you can implement all of these inside of Thrivecart. Let's go ahead and take them one by one. So for the easy one first, let's just kind of have a green line here. For courses, Thrivecart Learn is perfectly geared for selling courses. You can send them access to a sales page built in Thrivecart, and you can, you know, once they buy, they get automatic access in their login, their password, all that stuff, and they get access to the courses. No problem there. Now, communities is going to be a bit more of a discussion for us, so we're going to skip over that one till the end because that is one where there's like a fancy ninja trick that you can use. Uh, but let's move on over to coaching, all right? So, I love doing coaching with people. I love connecting with folks and helping them through their individual problems. Uh, a lot of people assume that to do a coaching community, you need a Facebook group. And the truth couldn't be, it couldn't be farther from the truth, right? Inside of Thrivecart Learn, there's some cool things you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and share you uh, my screen popping into Thrivecart Learn to give you an idea of how you can implement a coaching-based community completely inside Thrivecart Learn with no additional tech or confusion included. All right, let's. All right, so here inside of Thrivecart Learn, I'm gonna go and just create a course and let's just call this um, uh, group coaching. All right, we're gonna skip over some of this stuff. It's gonna be weekly live calls. Okay, and we'll put in a support email. 
And then what you could do is set this up however you'd like. For something like this, I'm assuming is going to be a pretty big meaty thing over time because essentially how we're going to set this up is every week there will be new lessons added where you can add your events as well as any like Zoom links or share calls or calendar events. All that stuff could be put into these lessons and they can be dripped out over time to your students. I'll show you how all that works right now. So let's do this as a grid, as a page, and we'll create the course. So here inside the course, what I can do is instead of setting this up like a course where it's intro, you know, tech, all these different sections of the course, we're going to use it as a monthly calendar. So we're going to call this March 2022, which is when I'm recording this video. And underneath tags, you can set it up where everybody gets access to it at the same time, or you can drip it out based on, hey, if you're a lifetime member or VIP member, you can get access to it immediately. That's what your tags can do if you're part of the Thrivecart Learn Plus platform. And let's go ahead and just create, you know, a um, coaching call for it's March 8th, 2022. So we can make one like that and we can create the lesson. Now, if you were, if we were to imagine, let me just fast forward the video, add a few more here. All right, so I've added a few lessons here in inside of Thrivecart Learn. So what you can do now that you have some of your, you know, coaching calls set up we have lessons here for each one of your individual events or coaching calls or zoom calls or whatever i'm just going to click over here to dripped and i want to set this to a specific day of the month or a specific calendar date either one would work just fine and i will drip out lessons on specific dates okay and i'll hit save and now what i get to do here is for march 8th's coaching call i can come here to draft and i will hit published and i'll drip out this lesson on march well, I can't do it today because today is when the lesson's here. So I'll say the ninth, okay? And then we'll only make it visible a one, oh, sorry, make this lesson visible to students before it is available. I'll say no. So this is going to hide the lesson. And in the same way, I can go ahead and do this for the next one. And this will be on the 16th. And then the next one will be on the 22nd. All right. And just like that, what we've created inside of Thrivecart Learn is a single course, a pretty easy to follow course where only uh, they get access to the content or the event or whatever it might be um, on the day that you want it to be done. All right. What's also pretty cool here is we'll be able to give them emails when specific lessons are available. But before we dive into that, let me just kind of give, give you an idea of what you could do here. So um, inside the lesson itself, what you would probably just want to do is either have a button that could link them over to a Zoom meeting that you've already pre-configured, or if you have any other webinar software, uh, for example, I've got one. Let me show you real fast here. So I'm here on a platform called Live Webinar. It's not the best, but it works for the sake of this example, where you can actually, in some cases, embed the entire um, conference call or the entire event inside your lesson. So what you could do here inside of Thrivecart is take an HTML block and just hit the paste button and say, welcome to the coaching call. And I'll just publish this and let's preview it so we can see what it's going to look like and going into March. So you can see here the benefit of setting this up as a big course grid is every month would have its own little course thumbnail you can design to do a lot of fun things. And inside of it, I can click in and actually here embed a conference call. And so for me, that's way better than having a separate Facebook community or having separate logins to this other platform and this platform. And it's also super well protected because with Thrivecart Learn, you have the ability to, let's go here to the course options. We can say if a subscription payment to access this course fails, you can disable all access. You can uh, give them access to what they've had, but not give them any future access. There's so many options that you can do. And you can also even promote this course where if you have other products in your course area and your student hasn't bought this specific one, you can actually advertise it where if they click on it, you can send them to the sales page for that membership coaching option right there. Okay. So super duper power. All right. So we've already covered, um, doing courses. Now that was coaching forums could act the same way where you could find forum sections that can be embedded inside. Um, and all of that. And also we covered how you can drip out the content and even lock it down inside of Thrivecart. The last thing, and this is really the one where I think a lot of you will really enjoy this part of it, is what about this community thing? Community is all the rage these days. You could, you know, as an example, simply have a Facebook group. And when somebody buys in your Thrivecart course, you could 
kind of give them access to the Facebook group or send them like a join link. And I'm not a huge fan of that for two reasons. One, I'm just not really a huge fan of Facebook groups. It's just not really my jam. Uh, and number two, it's super tricky to manually manage all that access restrictions. What I mean by that is, like you saw earlier on the screen where if the subscription is paused, you can automatically remove them or stop new content to hit them if it's inside Thrivecart Learn. That's powerful. But Facebook groups don't work the same way. You can't just say, hey, when they stop my Thrivecart purchase, take them out of the Facebook group. I have yet to find a solution that works like that. But there is a solution outside of Facebook, which to me is a win-win. Um, and it's called Circle. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not giving a full endorsement of Circle. I'm simply sharing a solution to the problem of a clean, integrated community solution with Thrivecart and Thrivecart Learn. So here's how it would work. There's a software called Circle.so. And it's an all-in-one community platform for creators and brands. Uh, I don't even know if I'm an affiliate for it. If I am, I'll put a link down below, but if not, no problem at all. And this does not directly integrate with Thrivecart Learn, but I'll show you exactly the, the strategy on how you could connect it. And I'll do that for you right now. Let's just go ahead and do it. So the, the cool thing about this is Thrive, it creates a sec, uh, like, an interface like this where you have different message boards or different special links has upcoming events put right here um, i'll just be honest with you it looks nicer than trying to embed all your content into a thrivecart learn lesson and it also gives you the groups they even recently launched live video uh, which looks pretty awesome so it's a full-on replacement of facebook groups uh, but you have to pay for it but it's also not on facebook so it's like one of those things where it's kind of good kind of um, adds a layer of complexity is it worth it I think so. Here's how you can implement it with Thrivecart Learn. Let me come back to the whiteboard here. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw out the strategy here for you, but if you wanna see it done for real, it's gonna be definitely a video on its own. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see how to integrate these and set them up like that. And also, if you want a copy of these notes, just go to notes.unbeatabletech.com. There should be a link down in the description for that as well. And you can download all the notes I'm presenting here for you just so if you wanna have it for future reference. All right, so let's kind of scroll on down here and I'll work you through the process here for how you can integrate all this. What we're gonna do is use a tool either Zapier which is kind of pricey. I would give it like a $3 sign, or I'm more of a fan of Integrately. And what these are, and I'm gonna give that a $1 sign there, so my personal choice is on this one because I'm still frugal. Um, but what these do is allow you to connect tools like Thrivecart and other tools like Circle. And here's how you could set this up, where you have your sales page here, which is built out in Thrivecart. They then make a purchase. And what that does is two things. Most likely you're going to give them access to a learn course, right? So this is going to be the Thrivecart learn course there, but it's also going to send a zap. Let's just call it a zap because people are getting used to that idea. And this zap is going to go off to that platform. And what that would do is automatically create inside circle, a new user, a new password, and is going to send an email to the person based on how they checked out here. So whatever um, username and password information is gonna collect all that information and send them an automatic email where then they would be able to log in and get into your community area, your membership area here on circle.so. Um, so that sounds, Oh, let me get rid of my face here so you can see kind of how that all plays out. So that does sound a little bit complicated, right? Like it's a few more steps than you need to do, but where this really wins is on the next step here. The next step is what happens if they cancel? Well, especially integrately, I've tested this personally and it works wonderfully, is you could set up a zap that listens for when people pause or cancel subscriptions. All right, pause or cancel subscription. So there would be a kind of like a listener where it's just listening into your Thrivecart account. And whenever somebody who is subscribed to your membership, whenever they cancel or pause, it can fire off this um, zap. And what that, that can do there is both pause your course content. Let's say you have course content inside of Thrivecart Learn. You can pause that, but you can also revoke access to your community, to your circle community. This right here is kind of the ninja hack or whatever you wanna call it. But this is super powerful because 
community access like circle does increase your stickiness. Like if you have an engaged and thriving community, it's super powerful. Um, but it's always a mess to manage. And this can kind of be your way out of that. And it also enables you to do awesome little things here, like $1 trials, right? Or like you could do maybe a lifetime access or annual plans or whatever you want to do. And because you have this access restriction all automated, um, your, your work is done and you're good to go. So it, it really opens things up because you know, we've thought about this many times. I've implemented it for clients, but we haven't really pulled the trigger ourselves of launching one of those memberships. But my one critical thing before we ever do that is I want to make sure that the access restriction is easy for the users and it's easy for us on the administrative side. And this is exactly how you can do this using Thrivecart Learn. If you enjoyed this video, I kind of went a little deep there, but if you enjoyed it, please, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave me a comment down below. The question of the day is, have you or are you thinking about launching a membership using Thrivecart, or do you have a membership launched elsewhere? What are the challenges you have with that? Let me know down below. I'd love to give you more content that can help you overcome those barriers in launching your successful online course or membership site or whatever. I just like this stuff. It's super fun. I'm super jazzed up right now. So that's it for me today, guys. If you want to get access to the notes, there's links down below. You can go to notes.unbeatabletech.com. Just put your email address in. I'll send you a live link. That means that whenever I publish new notes on um, my channel or my podcast, anywhere like that, you can get access to it right there. So that's it. Enjoy. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.